Can, but can I get some camera room? Damn. All right. Oh, put your freakum dress on. Oh, every woman got one. I'm kind of somewhere else right now. But anyway, I didn't think Mikkel was coming, but look who is here. So this is going to be on the main page, not on, not the last video when they said I'm moving to Atlanta. I'm really not moving. I just wanted to. No, he's just going for a couple of days. And no, I'm not going. So please don't ask. So you know we come, shut the fuck up. Anyway, I don't live here. We was asked on a video, how did me and Mikkel meet? Look at look at her in the mirror. Wait, don't stop it! Don't stop it! This is no. fun. That shit ain't oh, come fun to on, me. Kevin, you are so. Take her to look. She's in the mirror, pointing her tongue out. You need to whoop her ass and make her go to bed. Let's see, this little see, see, see children today. You can see her. Oh, you can see her. But yes. now on the camera, you can see her in the camera. But she ran upstairs. You can see her in the camera. But everybody for all the other videos on the camera, like all of you, you can see them walking up and down the steps. So what should it matter if she's standing there? Okay, but she needs to go to bed. She well, don't nobody know that she needs to go to bed. It's eight o'clock. It's who? How do they know that? But well, now they know it's eight fifty-two. Putting your yeah, put your kids to bed on time. When I was a kid, okay. Oh my I, God! Oh, bitch, yes. You were a kid. You can't tell. <laughs> what are you chowing down on? My mom made some llama beans or goulash, whatever you want to call it. Mm. It's great. It's good. It's an it's a poor example of a meal. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell her! Don't Mikkel, tell her! Don't tell her! Mikkel talking about your food. No, I am not. What are you saying? I did not say he that. Kevin, what he was eating, and he said, lava beans, uh, something and something. He said, yes, it's a poor excuse at of a meal. I did not say that! You did say that. I did not say that, Jeremy. Shut up! But you know what? My mother yeah, can cook. I am. <laughs> And this Thursday, don't nobody got cook. Nobody, don't nobody got cook every damn night of the week. My mother's sixty three. If you don't know how to cook, then bitch, that's your fault. Then look at her, twenty three, and don't even know how to cook. She don't have to know how to cook. That's why she that's got your mom. That's a sad excuse to be a woman. A woman should know how to cook. Beyonce don't know how to cook. Exactly. And, and that's a poor ass excuse. They, and she said she don't know how to cook. No. <laughs> I know how to make eggs and oodles and noodles, bitch. <laughs> she said, I know how to make, she was like, I'm a good seasoner. I can season some food up for Okay, well, what are you and good for? Like, she was like, I can make something taste real, real good. Well, if you can't cook, she then you better be good like, in the bedroom. She was like, no, actually, I made some oxtails and beans and over, like, what well, did they eat it? She was like, yeah, they ate it. Oh, so Jay-Z. So, Beyonce, what are you trying to say? You're only good in the bedroom. Let me tell you something. When you're Jay-Z and Beyonce, you don't have to cook. I was like, so when y'all don't cook Thanksgiving, she was like, well, my mom always cooks. She was like, Yes, Tina. She was like, well, I usually make the ice water. And she was like, so she was like, so um, is that something new that people do? They drink ice water? Oprah said that. Oprah said that. She was like, get her out of here. Oprah was baking Beyonce, basically. Okay. Huh? Watch it tonight. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna watch it too. It was decent though. She was real good. All right, we'll watch the repeat. She sounded like a down, a down to earth person, right? But Oprah was baking Beyonce under the cap though. She probably, she, she was, she was, she was. She was. She was. She but was. Oprah has respect. Yeah, she has respect for Beyonce. Right. They brought up the thing where they said, um, when Beyonce I didn't know we was gonna do a Beyonce recap, y'all. I'm sorry. I told you that was her first time on Oprah though. That was on her first time on Oprah. But come no, on, come I want to say I always see them going out today. But, but uh, for real, for, for real. Do y'all let me know if y'all agree? Type that in the comments. Should a woman know how to cook? A Type woman should know how to cook, but a man should know how to cook too. No, he should. And what my dad taught my mom how to cook. Well, excuse me, yeah, because my mom didn't know how to cook well, at we all. Know who really my did. dad, yeah, my dad taught my mom how to cook. It's nothing wrong with a um man knowing how to cook too. Right. Come on, it's nothing wrong. first of all, this is two thousand eight. Everybody in the house should know how to cook. I don't cook this shit. I ain't yeah. cooking First shit. First of all, I love on Thanksgiving because both my parents cook on Thanksgiving. What? I ain't no lazy bum. I cook. He's lazy. I cook from time That's to time. That's why he don't think a man should cook because he's fat and lazy. Actually, I cook from time to time. You cook from time to time. Cooking hot dogs and oodles and noodles. And well, you know what? I don't want to come off chauvinistic. I don't want to come off chauvinistic. I mean. Yeah, he don't even make 
Crap dogs on the stove, we make them in a microwave. Wait, Motherfucker, don't! Sausages! Sausages! You split them in a microwave. Who dumped them? Who dumped them? You're supposed to cook a hot dog in a sausage on the stove. But who put, who don't put a hot dog in a microwave? Me? That's nasty! No, no, no. Wait, I don't cook no you hot dog in the windowsill. I only did that when I was like 10. How do you make a hot dog in a windowsill? Because they used to, on TV, they had the science TV show. No! I never ate it. They had, yes, no, he I did. did. Yes, he did. You block, you TV, block TV, YouTube, whatever the name is. I never did that. Yes, he did. I probably did. You never know. Yeah, yeah I ate the damn hot dog. I was <laughs> 10. Fuck it. I was 10. What am I supposed to do? They showed you on TV how radiations from the sun can cook a hot dog, and I ate that shit, okay? And I'm still here. How long, wait, how long did it, if you spit on me one more time. Oh, my bad, Mikael. I'm sorry. How long did it take? You shouldn't be so close. How long did it take? Well, look how close we are. How long did it take for you to, um, how long did it take for, you to, for it to cook? I don't know. I don't remember. I was 10. It was, you were 10. Uh, I was 10. Anyway, back to the original subject. The subject was from Ricky the Great. Thank you for sending this. By the way, again, fuck all that. Fuck. This is for, from Ricky the Great. No, no, no. Actually, the first one was from Gamory92 before uh, we get into a heated debate. And that was so manly of Mikkel to do that. Excuse me. It says, I saw in your video saying that you and Mikkel don't hang out outside of your house. So I was wondering if you could do a quick video. Take your ass to bed! I don't live here. Good night! I still don't live here. Mom, I don't tuck people in. That's their mother's job. Well, well I, who tucked you in? My mother and my sister. Does she still tuck you in? No. I tuck you in with my fist. <laughs> now, back to this video. So, I was wondering if you could do a quick video on how y'all met and why you chose him to do videos with you. Oh, because, you. look at me. The camera loves me. And I don't do... How about this? I don't like conceited people. Watch the MTV video. If oh, you know yeah. what I mean. If you know what he means. So I have more of a chemistry with Mikkel than with anybody that I have ever done a video with. That includes my sister, my mom. Even though y'all love my mom, but my mom just be speaking the truth. But me and Mikkel just have a good chemistry on camera. And hopefully one day we'll make it to TV. He wants to be on the big, the screen. big screen. I want to be on the TV screen. I told him I don't want you phone. to spend your money to see me. That's all right. I, I'm okay with making What's money. What's the matter with spending money it's, to see somebody? I just said I'm okay. I didn't say there's nothing wrong with it. Now, how did I meet Mikkel? Mikkel became my MySpace friend in December 2006 because I remember... It was that long ago? I remember a picture with him going like this. Oh, yeah. And I thought that was the nastiest thing ever. And, you know, but we never talked like that. And then my nephew passed away. No, well, before spoke, Jeremiah died. I didn't know you before that. Well, no, I, I was putting Beyonce. Oh, yeah, you was putting Beyonce pictures pictures on my page, but I wasn't paying you no mind. Now... <laughs> Now, to the funeral, he spoke, and I said, I didn't know, a lot of people spoke, but I was like, okay, well, who was he? I didn't know who he was, and then I sent him a MySpace message one time, and I told him how Wait, nice hold on, so at the funeral, you didn't know that that was your I didn't, MySpace? no, I didn't know who the oh, fuck okay. he was, excuse oh. me, I didn't know who you were, my, I didn't mean to curse, I didn't know who you was, and then I sent him a MySpace pes, pes, message. message, telling him how nice it was for him to speak at the funeral. Because I'm not phony or heartless. Yeah, and then, you know, I still didn't really know him like that, but he was sending all these mean-ass messages. And I was like, why are you so evil? Because like, I don't like Janet. But that's all right, but I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know him. I'm like, first of all, I don't know you like that for you to be sending me evil messages like that, so don't do that. But he was like, do you really think that I, I mean like that? And I was like, well, first of all, I don't know you, so don't do that. And then after that, he seen that I really love Janet, and then one day I said, no, he said, well, one day I'm going to be on the show. No, like, you invited me, because I didn't know you had a show. You invited me. You said you should come on my show one day, and I said, oh, sure. And then it took me, like, at least two months. I wasn't ready for you to come. Yeah. First of all, we had the, my mom liked to change the house around. She wanted to paint the walls and all that. So my YouTube videos look different if you watch from earlier videos to now. Because me and you started out sitting right here. Yeah, we used to have the window in the background. But now I changed have... it. We have a wall. Because people can say, oh, how ignorant all that was to have an air conditioner in the background. 
So anyway, you know, I was like, well, we're going to have a debate, Janet versus Beyonce. And we had a big debate, and everybody liked him. I liked him. And we actually sat here for 45 minutes, but the video came out wrong because I recorded the video on this broke ass. No, first of all, I spent 100 hours on this camera that's supposed to be so decent, and the sound is fucking horrible. Thank God I have a new microphone. Thank you. Thank you so much. The microphone is twenty-five dollars, and it was worth it because y'all can hear us argue, and you guys can actually hear what's coming out of our mouths. And it's not Janet singing on a track. And you're like, what did she say? <laughs> so I mean, well, that was a sad bitch. You fucking owe me thirty dollars for my tickets. Anyway, and you can hear. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Okay, so go ahead, finish. This so up. now that's how me and Mikkel became. You know, well, we're not friends. Well, we friends, but we're not, we ain't never been nowhere together. Together. Because Kevin likes to party, and it's so weird. Isn't it weird? Because he's the one who you would think, when you watch the show, doesn't like to party. Oh, I like as long and as I got. And you would think watching the show that I would love to party, but it's actually the opposite. He loves to party, and I. Mikkel is a, a. I'm about to say housewife, but a housefly. Who wants a housefly? Get the fuck out the house and have some fun. No, I'm not a housefly. Live a little. I'm not a housefly. I just like to be live a little. Go to a club. With small groups. He don't like to go to clubs. He rather go to a dinner. I like to go to dinners, yeah. but come on, go to a club, you know have fun, interact with people. I'm I'm like Beyonce. I'm classy. Beyonce get drunk in the club. They ain't she not classy about that. She gets drunk in the VIP section. And so what? But you don't get drunk at all. Let me tell you, the first thing he told me when I met him is, I said, do you want to drink? Well, I don't drink because Beyonce don't drink. And I said, you remember that um, media takeout photo with her and Jay-Z when she was in that green That was dress? Sasha that was drunk, not her. Sa <laughs> bitch, please. Okay, so this is Scorpion talking right now. Yeah. Not Kevin. Oh, my fault. Well, um, I don't never call you Scorpion. I always call you Kevin. Oh, if, wait. On a side <laughs> note. On, on a side note. Don't Scorpion it seem like. Scorpion King. <laughs> and I hate that fucking name. <laughs> Don't it seem like y'all met Sasha on B Day more than this new album? I am Sasha Fierce. Yeah, it seems like it seems like it seems like on more of this album you hear Beyonce rather than Sasha. And, and I can't believe that Mikel agreed with me. I said, No, yeah, yeah okay, I do because be, it's like, to, uh, yeah, to be honest, I think Beyonce channeled her inner Christina Aguilera, not vocal wise, but listen to the music because it's not black. Enough, and I hate to say it's not black enough, but I'm being honest. Beyonce is more catered to a whole. Pop. No, but see, Beyonce but it's, it's like to, a gumbo. It's a gumbo no, listen, mix, but it ain't listen, catered to black listen. people. Listen, she caters to everybody. See, Beyonce, Beyonce isn't a Keisha Cole who just caters to black young girls. She oh, caters to oh, everybody. She caters to black and white. That's wait, 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 look. wait, wait. Keisha Cole's voice. Is versatile enough to be played on pop channels? It is, but she don't make versatile music. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Now, listening to Michelle Williams' new album, it's not really catered to black people. It's not. Why? But why isn't it played on the pop channels? You know why? Because the black people are not used to her sounding like that. That's why, why isn't it played on the pop channels? Kevin, listen to what okay, I'm saying. Okay, okay. Screw our urban and, and all the black channels. You're getting why? upset. No, no, I'm yes, not getting are. upset. I'm making a point. Why isn't it being played on urban? I mean, on pop. Because Cause you don't hear it. you don't hear if I were a boy play on urban, you hear it on pop. Mm -hmm. Now you mean to tell me that Michelle changed her whole music style. Hello Heartbreak. Hello Heartbreak. Do remind me of that song with with Timbaland and them. And you mean to tell me y'all can't play it? But and she's not black enough for BET. But it's not that it's not that she's not black enough. It's that that type of music that she's coming out with now is not resonating with the fans. Oh well, we know, you know why. why? We because know. we're so used to hearing Michelle either gospel or with Destiny's Child, and we all know that Destiny's Child wasn't that whole that screw whole that. stuff that she. No, it's not screw that. It's screw the that. truth. You're speaking. It's the truth. You're it is the truth. You're speaking what I call bullshit. It's not bullshit. Listen. Michelle, listen, all the people, when you hear people, look, all right, let me say, no, can I say something before you cut me off? 50% of the people out there love Michelle's new sound, and then you have the other 50% that don't like it. You know why they don't like 50? it? No, listen, listen, I'm trying to make a point. The why the other 50% don't like it is because they're so used to her in that gospel sound. A lot of people are not used to hearing Michelle saying, we break the dawn, because it's like, well, what dawn is she talking about? Is she talking about church or what? 
We're not. A lot of people are not used. Let to Let me that. tell y'all something though. Grow the fuck up. Let her sing what she wants to sing. Wait, I'm not disputing. No, that. I'm not saying that. I'm talking it all. That's like, oh, if you're gospel, then you're only supposed to be singing gospel, not secular. Grow up. Let her sing whatever God wants her to sing. If God, if God. No, no, no. I well, Michelle should have came God. out there and said that. But I Michelle did. Me. Michelle did address the people about that. She no, she came out in the beginning and said, "Well, you know, when I first joined Destiny Shout, I really didn't know too much about the dance that they had to teach me because you know I was more of a gospel girl." She shouldn't have came out and said that. She shouldn't have said it. it oh, came out motherfucker! Out. Please, Beyonce and Kelly and and Latavia and Latoya. Yeah, they sure they did. All they went to church. They did. Oh, but wait a minute. But they Beyonce, were all the church. Kelly, Latavia, they knew how to play that role. But so reversal. what? They were all oh, church. Michelle don't know how to play that role. Well, guess what? Yes, she do. How? She could do it. Okay, she can, but listen it's not to the new album. album. It's not working. If you if you want to ask me, the only song that sounds more gospel to me is the greatest, because she's not really thinking about nobody. The greatest is whoever you want the greatest to be in your life. And to me, I I made it more about God. That's the greatest. To me, that's who I think she's really thinking about God. That's the greatest. If you ask me. Now I'm just saying though, you got your point. I got my point. I think that people need to grow up because, you know, just because you grew up in the church, y'all, everybody knew Fantasia grew up in church. Her Both of her albums were R&B, right? Did anybody stab her? Oh, no, she's so churchy. Fantasia grew up in church. Fantasia loved gospel. But you know one thing I can say about Fantasia? I think she sounds better praising God. Than singing R and B, she sure does. That bitch, you praise, know, anything she sings, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, she sure does. Anything she sings can make you cry. But I think God gave her that voice to just for, for church yep. to sing for Him. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's her choice. Whitney too. Whitney was a church oh, girl. Whitney can sing a church song. Uh, oh my God, the wife. Oh Whitney, my God, wait, mind you, Whitney had the most beautiful voice in the world. The preacher's wife. Oh my God! Every time I see Whitney, it. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Why did you fuck it up? Yes. That's, and then they had the nerve. The nerve. You know what I'm about to talk about. With the oh, God. God. <laughs> they put Whitney Houston's face on somebody else's body. Who body did you use, girl? That is not your body. Touch my body. Dummy on the earth. Touch Whitney's body. <laughs> they photoshopped the shit out of that picture. Yes, they did. I thought Tyra Banks was the only one that got photoshopped like that. Because they be photoshopping the hell out of Tyra. Tyra knows the... Sometimes Tyra Don't knows how she's a part of Don't you talk about... No, because this Tyra and Beyonce look a whole lot to me. Now, Beyonce, <laughs> if Beyonce want to play anybody, <laughs> play Tyra she Banks. can play Tyra Banks. <laughs> Now, oh, you don't think she, oh, you don't think she got the Naomi Campbell walk? Naomi Campbell. Nah, she's not bitchy enough to play Tyra. She right now she wants. You to mean be, Naomi? No, Sasha could play <laughs> Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's get into this new topic. This comes from Ricky the Great. Where I say he's trying to start a fight between me and Mikkel. But since, but since we won't be here. For five days, let's have it, bitch. Let's fucking have it. No, I'm not gonna have it. Let's have it, honey. Come on, let's do it. it. Look, I'm not gonna have it. Well, we're gonna just speak our opinions, and yeah. I won't come up. Well, we'll try not to cut each other off. We'll try. Dear Mikel and Scorpion, your show is really entertaining, and I watch every day. Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. Yes, I've heard every no. I've heard Janet say in an interview that she left Def Jam because they wanted her to do mature music with quotation marks. <laughs> And she says she'd rather do sexy dance music. Judging With quotation marks. <laughs> yes. Judging by her sales, no, judging by the sales of her dance, sexy dance, dance music, music, it's time for her to throw in the towel. Has Janet music always been sexy dance music? Okay, I got your answer. Also, I heard Beyonce wants to be the first black Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. I think she has a look. But her country accent needs to go away completely, and her acting skills needs a lot of work. What do you guys think? Now let's get into bashing Miss Janet Jackson. First, wait—he's not bashing Janet. No, I'm going to bash Janet Jackson because 
<laughs> to be honest, it is sexy dance music. And I thought you were going to say it wasn't, because it is. Now listen to feedback. Strum me like a guitar. Blow out my amplifier. Excuse me, fuck me till I nut. Now, that's what I got from it. Now, okay, listen to So Excited. I'm hot. Come on, get ready. I'll open my spot for you whenever you want me to. Okay, bitch, these ladies is open all day long. Oh, is that what I smell? What? I told you my underarms were sticky. Oh, oh, I thought it was your legs. Bitch. <laughs> anyway, listen to what Janet said. A lot of Janet's music is about sex. So I agree when some people say, no, when a lot of people say, okay, stop singing about sex. Sing about something else. Because to me, you know, when she was on Offer You, on Offer You, it was all about, you know, I'm single, I'm ready to meet a new guy, you know. Talk to me. I want you to approach me. Okay, then when she went to Demita Joe, she went to a schizophrenia stuff. Okay, that's fine. She must have got back with But she had some nasty songs like Moist, you know. I'm moist, you make me so moist. My rain about to come down. Listen to what she's saying. My hands wrapped around, stroking and all that. Jenna is about sex. She's selling sex. Okay, there comes a point in time where Nobody wants to hear I'm about tired that. of hearing about sex. Okay, my favorite song tonight. Close the door and dim the lights. Make me feel what I want to feel tonight. Take care of me. I'll take care of me until you come home back to me. Love to love you. Singing about another woman in bed with her and her man. Oh, my God. Janet is a nasty freak, but I, I love Janet, though. But come on. Enough of the sex songs. Let's go back to when you used to be in Rhythm Nation, when you used to sing about female empowerment. How you used to sing about how children can't even play on the streets because people want to be shooting on the street. Sing about how women get abused by their men like you did on What About. We want you to go back to, or sing about, how about you take a break? Either if you can't have kids, make some kids, and talk about how happy it is to be a mom, or how happy it is to adopt, or how happy Jermaine, make you, Jermaine makes you feel besides in the bedroom. But that's too much, but see, if she talks about that, it, that'll be too much emotion, and her voice can't handle that emotion. No, but you know what? Janet can't sing like the other powerhouses, okay? But you, everybody says she can't hear. To me, if you ask me, I think the music is drowning out her voice. So make the music even low enough, but see, or no, make the music... But no, you can't say well, you that. You know what? She you could be. She could go to T-Pain and use the that. vocator. You can't. Because Janet sounds different. If you listen to the Velvet Rope, Janet sounds different. Somebody was bashing the Velvet Rope. Too. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Janet sounds different than any other album that she ever sung on. It, and a lot of the Janet fans will agree with me. Go listen to it and listen to the Janet album. Listen to Rhythm Nation. Listen to Janet Jackson. Listen to Dream Street. Listen to Control. You understand what oh, I'm talking about? the show? Everybody watches the show. Have you ever seen his videos? Scorpion fans want to No, don't say the name. This one. He watches the show? Is that what it says? Yes. Because I was sold to watch the show. You got to see his YouTube videos. Lord have mercy. When I talk about soft porn. Did he ever hit you up though? No, but I've seen his YouTube But how you know videos. he watch our show? Isn't this what... It, that's his name. That's but his I YouTube was, no, name. I was told to watch him. Oh, you were told to watch him? Yes. Mm. Child. Mm. Chi look, look at me. Mm. Oh, okay. Child. Wow. <laughs> now, what do you think about Janet's sexy dance music? Did I say enough? No, you said enough. Coming from you... a real... This is from a real Janet fan. I want y'all to know I that. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you that she... All, mostly her songs, when you think of J Janet Jackson, you think of her sex. dance. Sex. Yeah, and sex. Um, as far as the... What was the... Um, Beyonce. No, not Beyonce. No, I don't want to get to her yet. The mature music. I think... I will have to, no, hold on, I will Ooh, have to I got admit. one more thing to say, okay, one ahead. more thing to say. Go Janet ahead. Jackson, when I listen to that interlude talking about, um, would you and the girl in the bathroom with your friends talking about, every time they be like, girl, what your name is, what your number is, come on. Okay, now, one more, I'm right in my sidekick, I'm going to call you soon as I get home. Who still uses sidekicks anyway? Nobody. Grow up. Okay, can I say what I'm Yes. Say? Okay, on the sexy dance part, I do think Janet, when you think about Janet Jackson, it is sexy dance that comes, up, comes to mind when you think about her. As far as the mature music, 
I honestly can admit that I think Janet does have mature music, but the sad part about it is that I, I think that she only releases the sexy dance music, which is sad because that's all we know her as is somebody being sexy dance, which is with Beyonce. You know how a lot of people, when they think of Beyonce, they think of, oh, that's the girl who shakes her behind and that's the girl who swings she her does. hair up. No, listen to what I'm saying. Well, she listen. does that. Yes, she does. But see, there's also the Beyonce that I like. That is actually the singer. Beyonce is a singer. See, there's two Beyonce. You got the one who shakes her behind and, sh and swings her hair, and that's the one that most people know. That's why when Beyonce does songs, they it's like it's like trying to get an older person to like Beyonce. I've come to realize that it's hard to get older people to like Beyonce. Because, you know, older people will like Alicia Keys more than they'll like Beyonce. That's why? That is so because, true. Uh, no, see, no, listen. Because Alicia Keys sings songs from the heart and she just sings them whereas though everybody knows beyonce as dancing and as shaking her ass but see the thing is with this new album is how about beyonce this? that i love how about this how about alicia she can, keys no, she can, yeah, alicia she can, keys is sings her music is more mature and her audience is more mature than beyonce's audience that's true too. that's what it that's is true. that's why i said it's kind of hard to get older people to like Beyonce, not because they dislike the way she sings, but it's that a lot of older people think that Beyonce is only catering to the older people. I mean, the younger people. And I think with this new album, I Am Sasha Fierce, when you hear those songs, you hear how she sings them, you say, wow, this is a Beyonce that I've never, ever, ever experienced before. Now, Mikkel, I have to, you know what, I listened to what you said before about Janet, you know, shaking her ass. Because back in the day, you, you thought it was Janet shaking her ass. No, I said Beyonce shakes her ass. Oh, well, we all know when that. When I say that, we all know that. That's nothing new. But listen, you said Janet does. Janet is dancing. I didn't say Janet. I never said Janet. I, I never but said you, Janet you shakes said, her ass. I said she oh, okay. dances. All right, well, yeah, they, I never said okay, that she well, don't now, have the ass. Now he's not shake. willing to admit it, but that's Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hold on. I said that Janet jan dances because that's the only thing she can do when she's on that stage is dance. I never said she shaked her ass because I ain't never seen Janet move like Beyonce. <gasps> Janet's move. Have you ever seen? Wait, have you ever seen Janet get in a pair of heels and kill it like Beyonce? Like no, she is? It's, all right, then, but, that's, you, but you don't think Janet can get in a pair of high heels? She and can. Do it? She can. How about but this? But Janet has never shown us that she can do How that. How about this? If Michelle Williams can dance in high heels, but she can. Janet Jacks can do it. Michelle okay. Williams can't even walk down steps on kill. Did you see the BT Awards? Are uh, you not going to diss on my show, bitch? Because she watches this. You ain't going to diss on my show. Hi, Michelle. You I, <laughs> no, hold on. Let me say something. Michelle, if you watch this episode, I love you to death. But you, you guys, not. But, you but know, I, I, you we know, are I, real people. Yeah, I'm going to phone with somebody. We are real people. Like, who is that in the background? I said, that's my uncle and, my, and his friend, Michelle. He's like, oh, the Scorpion show. <laughs> 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 oh, well, wait a minute. Michelle, <laughs> let me tell you something. You know, people I love appreciate it. Hold honestly. on. Go ahead, people go. love this show because of the fact that he and I are so honest. So many people want us to have our own TV show. And... I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I think it's no, it's nothing disrespectful to Janet Jackson or Michelle Williams because let me tell you something, y'all got more money than I'll ever have. It's just my honest opinion. Just like he does like Beyonce, and there's no disrespect to Beyonce. It's just the way he feels. So Michelle Williams, I really do love you, and I always, always said that when you are with Destiny Child, the three of y'all can never do no wrong. And I hope y'all come back out because y'all all. I don't want them to come back out. I, I do. I want Kelly and Michelle no, no. to get solo. No, I, I want, want them to have a solo to tour first. No, listen, I don't want y'all to come back out. I just want y'all to do a reunion tour and kill it. Because y'all are going to show these young... Well, y'all already showed these young Maybe girls. Maybe in 2015. Look, but, Danny Kane has not even been out for like a whole good three years. And already they're gone. Isn't that a shame? I don't give a damn. Well, I don't give a damn either because I don't <laughs> like them anyway. Okay, I say I don't even I don't even know their names of Danny Kane. I think it's okay. Dawn, Shanice, um, Pam, Alicia... Um, Carla, I Big don't Feet, know. and Big all of them. Oh, okay. yeah, whore. Oh, I'm sorry, Aubrey. <laughs> don't talk about Aubrey because that's the only one I do know for real. I, I, well, I, you I would know her because she's the whore. No, because that's the only name I see in the lights. Because she's a whore. Okay, just like Beyonce was the only name you saw on magazines when she was still with Destiny's Child. Well, because was because oh, Beyonce, so had Beyonce, Beyonce had this. Beyonce had this. Oh, no, because Matthew Mason, bitch, get on this cover, get on that cover. Screw Kelly and Michelle, they the backup singers anyway. <laughs> no, when Ke Kelly is the biggest competition for Beyonce. No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. She should, she, no, she, she should, should be, be, but she's, she's not. not. Okay, no, but she's in not. America, she's not. But worldwide, she is. Now, 
Now let's get to the real question. Sorry, Ricky the Great. See how? See, I told you we're gonna start some shit. What was this? Now, I think. Now back to this Beyonce as Wonder Woman shit. Beyonce can't even play Superwoman because she hasn't proved to me that she can even act yet. So until she proves with me that she can act, she can't play Superwoman. I thought the so Superwoman who, was like an action thing. Anyway. Who wants Beyonce as as Wonder Woman anyway? Nobody. No, hold on. Hold Nobody. On. Can I say something? Can I say something? Go ahead. In all honesty, I would love to see Beyonce play it, but it's not Wonder believable. One, but it's not believable. You know why? The main reason why it's not believable because I have a prime example for you. Beyonce, I love you, and I don't speak anything negative about yes, you. Yes, you do. But Wonder Woman is white. She ain't black. It's just like saying, can you imagine if Christina Aguilera played Etta James and Cadillac Records? I mean, they can tan her face up, but it wouldn't be the same. You know why? Because everybody would still be looking at this white woman playing a black woman. Now, let, so me, shut you, let me shut you down right now. Because Cinderella was a white woman. But guess who played her? A black woman. But that, and it was Brandy. But that was okay. horrible. So, but no, but it was, that, was like a a good, that was a good ass Cinderella. Please. Don't you sit there and say it was horrible. No, it, was. it had Whitney Houston. It, it had Brandy in it. It had an Asian man instead of a white man. That was the most diverse cast but Cinderella that we've was also seen. A cartoon. So what? It had Whoopi Goldberg in it too. Whoopi yeah. Goldberg played the part of a man. So what? It doesn't matter. Um, um, okay, John Travolta played a woman in fucking, what's that movie? Hairspray. So, what? so what's your point? You play a woman every day on this no show. No, the fuck I don't neither. On so anyway, now he want to be smart. But you know what? That's fine. And Miss Barbara, I didn't ask you. <laughs> don't talk to my mother like that. I'll slap you in your bald ass. Did you hear what she just called us? So what? I don't care. I hear it all the time. It don't affect me. Well, it affects me because I ain't got no hair for it to resonate through. <laughs> So it goes straight through. I know Brandon better be back in the hour with that drink. I he bet. No, never mind. Well, mm. <laughs> N.T. Way. She didn't even know I've been over here having a cocktail all along. But anyway. <laughs> Who was having a cocktail? Woo yeah, he's this drunk. He is drunk. <laughs> Who, him? I know I he is drunk. Because I'm having he fun. Because we, we got to make this a long video because you won't get your daily fix of us for a long time. But. Beyonce is a superwoman, no. Holly Berry is a superwoman, no. Let them, they got to find somebody who has the build like Linda Carter to play superwoman. And, you know, I don't know who could play superwoman. But I would love to see it, but not Beyonce. Because I won't be able to believe Beyonce. I don't, I, Until I see Beyonce do a role where she's not playing a singer, a singer and, and, I, and she could prove to me that she's a real actress, then... I okay. have a question for you. Okay, what now? Go ahead. Me and you both saw the trailer to Cadillac Records. What if, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if she ups and surprises everybody in Cadillac Records? Will you still think that she? Sh I mean, what if she just ups and surprises us? Like, if she surprises me, I won't give her no praise until I see Obsession. After I see Obsession, wait, that's not fair. That's not fair. Yes, how, it is. Wait a minute, fair. how is that fair? Because if she does good in Cadillac Records, then how can you hold your tongue until you see Obsession? So if Obsession is bad, then you're saying because, that Cadillac okay, Records is bad. How about how about how about this? Everybody is praising Barack Obama right now. He's going to be the best president we ever well, had. In I'm the United not saying States. that. Even though we elected elected him, because I know as as much as I know we voted for him, he hasn't done shit yet. He could be the worst president ever, and we give him all his praise. Who we? He, he didn't do anything yet. That's what I just said. What you getting mad for? First of all, he'll show me when he gets in there. First of all, first of all, all no, let me say something real quick. First of all, let me say something. First of all, we're saying the preview. No, first of all, let me say something real quick. Everybody got Obama happy and Obama hype. Yes. I was one of those people. But we have to remember Barack Obama is still a politician. And remember, we don't like politicians. And first of all, that's what we have to remember. And, he is still okay, a politician. You gotta tell the best He's lie to get politician. into office. And that's what they all do. Okay? So there's no telling what he's gonna now, do. Now, I love he Barack because, because he's the color president. of this. But once he get in there, that don't mean he's going to always satisfy me. Because there's been a lot of black men, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and they ain't do shit. Barack okay? Obama, for one thing I don't disagree on with Barack Obama, he's against Proposition 8. 
Mm. Now, how can you be against Proposition 8? How can you this be against Proposition 8? We have the gay people in this world. You. No, half of the gay people in this world voted, for, voted for him. So how can you be against that, Barack Obama? That's not right. That's not right. But move over. Though. I need to get back in this. The thing is, like, to me, I don't think that nobody is really going to do anything for gay people but gay people. But gay people. I don't see it happening. I you know, don't. So, so ironic. I was watching CNN last night, and they were talking about this Proposition 8. And one of the people on CNN said that this, the gay people marching in California and across this country reminded him of the 1960s when blacks were marching. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. And that is so true because it's like. And that lady was so, so against it. It's so right. fair. It's so unfair that. People that in 2008, in the 21st century, that gay people still have to feel as though Look, they're not if you equal. ain't kissing another man, sleeping with another man, if you ain't sleeping with another woman, well, well, opposite of that, then why should it affect you? That's my thing. Speaking of that, please go to unifyvoice.org because they want to legalize. Who is this? They want to legalize gay marriage in all 50 states, and I promised them that I would give them a shout out. On my show, this is the second time that I'm giving them a shout out. Please go to Unify Voice Down. You know what I also think? I think a lot of people who voted for Proposition 8 were confused. Because if you notice, Proposition 8, when you went in the voting booth, it was saying if you if you if you want this bill to pass, push yes. If you don't, push no. And I think a lot of people thought that if you push yes, then that means that gay people will get their rights. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But really, in reality, if you push yes, that means that they won't get their rights. Mm -hmm. And I think that it was a little confusing, too. And I think those people in California knew what they were doing. But first of all, they had all them vote no, vote no, They vote did, but no. you, I don't know. But you know, with the sad part about it, too, they said 70% of African Americans voted for that. So that just goes to show you a lot of black people still don't want yeah, they like still gay don't get it. They still it, it's all right. Well, it's not all right, but I mean, they gotta grow up. We got we as a black people, we're still growing. We won't really see black, black people, people rise so up. We won't see black people rise. We won't even see it. I don't believe it. Well, you never know. But right now, come on, it's too much negative influences on us. We won't. It, it won't be a lot of. Wait, things. I gotta see who this is because do I don't know who this is texting me. And they, no, they said that their name, they said that it's my, she's, well, we're not going to interrupt this show for that. Well, YouTube, it's been nice talking with you guys. I don't know if Mikkel's going to be here on Tuesday because I won't be back in, into the city. What's on Tuesday? Tuesday. Is, first of all, that's the day Beyonce album come out. So he got to learn the lyrics. I have to learn, learn the, the lyrics. lyrics. I already know the lyrics. Three well, I got to really learn the lyrics because I can't be singing and fucking the lyrics okay. up. And stuff. When did I hear the album? He heard the album on MySpace. Come on, everybody. Well, everybody knows that I heard the album. But no, 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 no. But you ain't hear the whole page. thing. Yeah, he didn't hear the whole thing. I didn't hear the whole thing until the you ain't. So tell, yeah. So tell your nephew to you be. You didn't clear. hear the whole thing, so shut up. See, Richard. Yes. Please yeah. tell your friends about the Scorpion Show. The last time I read, we had a eleven. No, eleven thousand. No. Oh, I wish we did. 1,113 subscribers. So when I come back from Atlanta, I want to have at least 1,200 subscribers. So tell your friends about the Scorpion Show. Get the word out that Mikkel and myself, I put it to myself, Mikkel and myself are the best things on YouTube because hey, you tell us. Can that. I say something? A couple of people out there have been telling me that they love it when I go, um, I don't live here. No. Oh, yeah, they love it when I say that, too. <laughs> but I, if you notice, I don't. I don't say it unless it gets really loud and he starts yelling, then I have to say it. But they love it when I say, um, 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 your time's up, Janet, go sit down, baby, or is that how I say it? No, Janet, your time's up, oh, yeah. baby, go Janet. sit down, Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Janet, your time's up, baby, go sit down, baby. Mm -hmm. They love it when I do that. And like I always say, I would never tell any artist to go sit down. Just because you can't sell a damn ticket for a tour don't mean nobody won't buy your album. Or just because you can't sell an album don't mean you can't sell out for a tour. Or maybe your music just not that hot. Maybe you need to go back into the studio, studio rethink about what you want to sing about, and come back out. There's a lot of and, shit, And Janet. remind them that Michelle Williams watches your show. Yes, Michelle, thank you so much for telling me. She said, you know I watch your show, boo. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you so much. And, you know, if you haven't bought Unexpected, Go buy the album. If you buy Beyonce, go buy Unexpected, for real. And tell me if you really liked it. 
And if you really bought it, take a picture and show us that you bought the album. Because I got my picture yeah, don't with the take album a picture in my of nobody else's album. Okay. Don't go to your friend's house and take a picture. Take a picture of the, of the album that you bought. Yes. And by the way, since we're doing album plugs, let me plug in one of my own. I am Sasha Fierce. Good. Comes out November the 18th, which is next Tuesday. So today is Thursday. We got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. You better scrap so your money Friday. up together. So you better, you get, better get on the corner, corner, do whatever you gotta do. Get her album and Michelle album. Oh. And tell me who you think made the No, go get her no, album. No, don't do that. Don't say tell me who I, you I made wanna the know. Because we know who's gonna know. win. We know who's gonna win. Well, vocally, we know both <laughs> say Hopefully we know Mich Michelle can't sing better than Beyonce. We know that. But Michelle, no, this but that's the only thing that happens. You know what I also think I love about Michelle's voice is because that video. I'm sure half of y'all out here have seen this video, that voting video, when she's telling people to go vote. Mm -hmm. Her voice was made for gospel too, mm -hmm. because when she picks up those tambourines and she's go, <laughs> and then she's like. I'm gonna thump them down. Like for a name that's yeah. not McCain. For a name that's not McCain. McCain. <laughs> <laughs> you been studying Michelle too? Oh my god. I study everybody. Oh, I study everybody who can sing. Oh. <laughs> Get it? For a name oh, that's, a genus, <laughs> that's not McCain. How about we close the show with a Janet song? <laughs> like, um, I heard from a friend today. <laughs> Why are you so loud? said you were oh, in town. <laughs> Suddenly the memories came back to me in my mind. There's something I want. No, you know what? Beyonce out there. Oh, that's no, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. My turn. If I were a boy, no, 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 no. It's I too think big. It's too no. We can't sing that. That's what you got. a big ego. Uh, yes, such got a big, big ego. He walk like that, cause he got it like that. No. Something like that. No. <laughs> but let's move on. No, no. If I were a boy, I think I could understand. Ooh. How it feels to love a girl, I swear I'd be a better man. You gotta be the backup vocals. No. I listen to her, cause I know how it hurts, cause yeah, I know how it yeah. Hurts. When you lose the one you wanted, cause he's taking her for granted. For granted. Everything you had got destroyed. destroyed. Where are my single ladies at? No, no. All the single wait, ladies. Wait, wait, go to this part. Go to my ladies. favorite part of the song. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single Don't ladies. treat me to these All things the single ladies. of the world. I'm not that kind of girl. Your love is what I prefer. What I deserve is a man that makes me, then takes me, and delivers me to a destiny, to infinity and beyond. Hold me in to your arms. Say I'm the one you want. And if you don't, you'll be alone. And like a ghost, we'll be gone. All my single ladies. All the single ladies. All my single ladies. All of our subscribers. All my single ladies. All of our subscribers. All of our subscribers. So put your hands up and oh, click that oh, yellow oh. button for the Scorpion Show. Click that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Oh, wait. Mama! <laughs> I need something new. Give me something new besides this. Because if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Oh, oh, oh.